How's it going, y'all? Roddy Riles back with another video. We are coming at you with wave two of Street Sharks from Mattel, and I'm super hyped for this one. After this, I'm probably only going to get one-off ones, like maybe Moby Lick and a couple others that I remember having as a kid, because this covers the main Street Sharks team, and we get the main villain, so that's really cool. So yeah, we get <coughs> Slamu, Streaks, is it Streaks? And, uh... Dr. Paranoid, because I know they changed Streaks' name, but yeah, it is still Streaks. So yeah, super excited to have him. I didn't get to ha have him as a kid. He was the most sold out one. So super excited to have Streaks. And with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the boxes and we'll get these bad boys open. It's awesome! Checking out the box, as you can see, just like Wave 1, they are in those old school, school style boxes with the cardboard and the plastic cage. And they all say Street Sharks and their name. And then Spring Fired Spear Gun, Streaks says Combat Claws, and Finline Skate and Slamu says Super Slam Fist. On the back, we get some artwork for the uh, Slam features that they have on all three, so those are different, but the little blurb on the back is the same, and then they all have their little bio. Streaks' bio says, of course, his name is Streaks, motto, cut to the quick, and his 411 file says, slick, quick, and fast. He's got a tiger in his tank for turbocharged moves. Think fast, skate faster. Street skills. Skates at incredible speeds with tricks so sweet they'll make you weep. Claws slash teeth gash as he spins at 2,000 RPM in a blur of savage stripes. Main shoes, stereos, turbochargers, stopwatches, chain link fences, and hot dogs. For Dr. Paranoid, it says, name Dr. Par Paranoid, motto, by the hook or by crook. 411 file, changed himself into a half-human, half-paranta, half piranha monster, constantly strives to make the world much his, match his warped, wicked vision of made-to-order sub-creatures. And then street skills, heavy into physical and biological sciences, designs genes for every occasion. His vile creations are unparalleled in criminal history. Favorite feasts, shark tacos, shark steaks, shark a la king. Oh. And for Slamo, it says Big Slamo, low, uh, motto, lower the boom, 401 file, strongest shark around with a raw instinct for survival that doesn't quit, slow to react, but unstoppable once he does. Street skills, no shark can beat his strength, he smashes cars with a single hand slam, lifts loaded buses before breakfast, wrestles bulldozers, bulldozers for kicks, main shoes, deep freezers, big screen TVs, all you can eat meal deals. On this side, it just illustrates their action features once again. And with all that being said, let's get Jawsome. As you can see, I finally got them out of the box. As you can see as well, Slamu is just like the original other than articulation points, like the paint ops are the same. Um, the sculpt is the same, like it, you recognize these characters. And they did a really good job. He's got his football pads down there on his legs, he's got the sweatbands on his wrists, and he's got those silver spots and his eyes are painted nicely. And of course, you know, their mouths open up and the teeth are all painted nicely. So Slamu's really cool in, in the back as well. There's not as much paint, but at least on his clothing, it does continue to the back. And then of course, We've got streaks with his purple tiger shark stripes and his, uh, you know, biker pants and blades, roller blades, which are painted nicely. And it's all articulated, which is really nice. Like, remember just having the, the arms and the waist swivel, and that was really it. But, you know, they went all out with these, and they did such a great job. And streaks is my favorite street shark, and I finally have him, so that's really cool. And uh, then, of course, we get to Dr. Paranoid who is just like the older figure once again with, you know, the colors and the accessories. And uh, he has all his parts because mine is missing stuff. And of course we have that face swapping action as well, which is his. And uh, Streaks doesn't really have any power effect except for his swappable hands. And then of course having rollerblades and Slamu. So he doesn't have anything. And Slamu, of course, showing you their power features right now, has his big old slam. So you lift up his arm, and he will knock somebody out, and he swaps faces, and Streaks just has swappable hands with claws. So they're all really detailed and nicely painted, and I'm really excited to have the three of them. Checking out their height, if I can find, here it is, Slamu is about six inches, Streaks is about 
five and a quarter and Pyranoid is about six and a quarter. So the only one that come with, comes with accessories is Streaks and he has swappable hands. We get the longer bladed fingers which already have one set on there and then the shorter normal ones which are all painted nicely in those um, those padded gloves for bikers and skaters and all that stuff and like I said their articulation is updated we do have a shoulder hinge we do have um, a bicep swivel and rotation down there we have the same thing um, at the wrist so there's a rotation and a swivel and then there is a rotation at the waist legs come up back to the side there is a knee joint as well so they come forward and back and he also has a rocker on his foot, so that's really cool to add some articulation to these guys. Streaks is about the same. Shoulders, um, biceps. Uh, it's a little difficult to get his extra hands in there, so be careful with that. Waist, legs, um, blades move on his, thing, on his feet, and uh, those are hinged and swiveled and all that good stuff. So you can get them down and dirty pretty much as much as you want to with the posing. And then Dr. Pyranoid over here, of course, has the bicep and uh, the shoulder and all that stuff and the hinge on the wrist. And he's also got a ball peg there, the torso. So that's really nice. Legs come forward to the side. Um, no, there is no joint. Is there a joint at the knee? No, it's just a boot swivel there and then a joint at the ankle for him. And then I think this launches out it does. Did I just lose it? No, I found it, but you can see that works. So that's really cool. And it does fit in there snugly. I did have to like really hit that button for it to launch out of there. And then this is just like, you can take it off if you want to, but it is just attached at the wrist and he's holding it in his hand. So yeah, that's their articulation and accessories, I guess. So let's get into the comparison. So here we have the new ones on the right. And the old ones on the left, you can see the new ones are slightly bigger and the colors are not as faded and the paint apps are nice and crispy and all that stuff that you would expect for, for some newer stuff. So that's old and that's new. It is a little hard to get a bunch of stuff up here because these street sharks are pretty big, but I did want to get all these guys together. Speaking of being together, here is wave one and two of street sharks together. We got the bad guys over here and then we got all the street sharks buddies over here so yeah they look great together I know it's a little crowded but I do want to get them all up here as crowded and um, claustrophobic as it is here they are with some biker mice from Mars with a couple of ninja turtles and then we can finish it off with some Marvel Legends so with all of that being said street sharks wave 2 is totally jawsome which means totally worth it to me. Um, like I said, I'm probably only gonna pick and choose which ones I grab from here from Mountain rather than grabbing the whole waves. But now I've got pretty much every one that I had as a kid. So that's really cool. And you can't beat that feeling. So that's awesome. And you know what else would be awesome? If you hit like and subscribe on my video. Also comment, let me know if you're picking up these street sharks. If you grab the first wave, um, how your day is going, just let me know what's up. Let me know in the comments. Um, check out my Patreon. It's a dollar a month for early videos. And then of course, um, check out my two giveaways. We're doing one at 5k and one at 3.5k. So check out how to enter those if you haven't done that at this point. With all that being said, I love you. I will see you next time and bye-bye.